This is natural selection, lesson 2.4, activity 3. This is part 2. You should have just completed a write and share routine in Notability and turned it into Canvas. So now we're going to talk about it a little bit. <clears throat> so I know you didn't get to talk to everyone quite yet about all three of these scenarios, but um, each scenario is sort of in a timeline. So this first scenario, um, the lynx population decreases because of hunting. So we have less lynx eating roe deer. And so what happens is, is the roe deer population increases because there's less predators. So there's more roe deer. And then after that, lynx, hunting lynx became illegal. So then the population of lynx increased. And so then they they would eat more roe deer because there was more of them and so the roe deer population decreases so when you have more predators you're going to have a smaller resource population and then hunting became or then there was illegal hunting happening again so the lynx population went down and therefore they were eating less roe deer and so the roe deer population increased in size so the main point of all of this is that the larger the consumer population and the lynx are the consumer population, they're the other ones eating the roe deer in this scenario, the larger the consumer population, the more energy storage molecules they will need. Therefore, it will eat more, causing more deaths in the resource population. So the more lynx there are, the more energy storage molecules they need to survive as a whole population. So they're going to eat more roe deer or need to eat more roe deer to live. Therefore, there's going to be more roe deer deaths and a decrease in their population size. We know that changing the size of a consumer population can affect the size of its resource population. This is because larger populations need more energy storage molecules to survive. So they will eat more, leading to more deaths in the resource population. Smaller populations need fewer energy storage molecules, so they will eat less, leading to fewer deaths. So we will end up using this to um, connect to the jelly population increase um, in a the next lesson. Uh, make sure that you have pressed hand in or you've turned this in, I should say, into Canvas, this activity three. Uh, make sure you've turned this into Canvas. Um, and that's it.